hiding out at a place called Zion Mountain uh, in western Mississippi yesterday, and I went right over the bars and uh, bruised my left side, probably blue bruised a rib, and uh, it, it, it hurts. It's not deadly, it's not really nasty. It could be a lot worse than it is, but it hurts. So I'm gonna be taking it easy the next few days. In fact, I'm not even gonna ride today. That being said, I think I'm gonna ride tomorrow, but I'm gonna take it really easy. We'll see. I'll be up north of Memphis in a place called Bartlett. The drive from central Mississippi to Memphis, Tennessee was uneventful and maybe even a little bit restful. Anticipation was growing for the Bentonville Bike Fest the following weekend. Woke up at 5.30 in the morning right across the street from the busiest freeway in America. Or at least it sounds like the busiest freeway in America. Boy, did I not sleep last night. But I got up early so that I could beat the heat because it's going to be like 96 degrees here or something. Crazy humid. And I want to hit the trails before I start to melt. I'm going to head west and uh, check out a new trail system. You want to come with me? I'm headed to Nesbitt Park, which is locally referred to as Stinky Creek, which is not an encouraging name. Um, apparently it comes from the uh, smell that comes up from the creek during certain times of year. I don't know if we'll be smelling that on this trip or not, but it's one of the only spots in town that has a trail system. They're all blue and it looks like it might be fun. I can't really tell yet. This could be interesting. There's a trail sign up here. Let's take a look at it. See what we're in for. Bike trails. Stanky Creek bike trails. All right. And they have a Livestrong bracelet. That kind of dates it a little, but I like the thought. Blue trail, well, they're all blue trails. All right. Wow, you just jump right into the forest here, don't you? <laughs> this is cool. Well, the phone's gonna be coming out a lot here because these trails go every which way and I do not know which one I'm on. But this is pretty cool. Check these out. I should divulge that I recently rode some trails just south of here and bailed. Uh, yesterday, day before yesterday. And I landed on my left side, on my ribs. Might have cracked or bruised a rib. Don't think I cracked it, because it doesn't hurt that much. But it's making me have second thoughts about hitting some of the heavy stuff. So I'll be riding within my comfort zone today. On this beautiful trail. Oh, let's cross. Boy, when you hit the mud, it just gets soupy. Trail is almost hero dirt, but in the little wet spots that there are, it gets straight up soupy. Wheels go sideways. It's crazy. They have these markers every so often in the trail. It's kind of nice because I'm assuming since we're in town that there's good cell reception here. So should something bad happen, you can get in touch with the uh, rescue workers and use those markers. They can find you pretty quick. 
nice. Well, I checked the map and I've made it to the back of the park. Muddy. And uh, that's great, although it was really fast. And I have some rough idea of where I need to go after this, but I thought the park was small, but it's even smaller than I thought. There's some trail that goes off here somewhere. That can't be it. That looks like it leads out of the park. Can't tell. Okay, this is one of the little loops. I have no idea what it's called because the signage here is not that great. But uh, I'm gonna take it and it'll come right back up over there. Got a toilet seat at the start. So I could call it toilet seat. Might even be accurate, I don't know. Maybe you get wet. I like it, it's fun. There's a turtle in the trail. Ha! Hold on. Wonder if he's commuting. Hey, buddy. You should probably move. Uh, you don't know. Here, I'm gonna put you in the bushes. Ready? There. Now, no one will run over you by accident. Sorry if I scared you. Woo! This is being fun. I like it. Okay, time to check the map again. But I think I know where I am this time. I'm, I'm supposed to go the other way, so I'm just gonna come down this and turn around, but it looks like it's a connector. Oh my goodness. This is cool. This is what the kids do on Saturday afternoon. <laughs> well, this is too much fun. Whoa! <laughs> this is way over my pay grade. There's some big ones back in there too. Wow. Well, good, I'm glad they have a place like this. 
Is there a road for the ambulance to get in? <laughs> careful in these turns that mud is so slick to just take my wheels right out from under me That looks like it was really nice when it was operational. Ah, uh, we're getting close to the front. I see a phone pole. I've ridden rockier trails. I've ridden steeper trails. I've ridden muddier trails, although this had some mud. But this is an okay trail system. And uh, if I had it in my backyard, I wouldn't be complaining. It's fun and flowy. A little on the flat side, very cross country. But, uh, you know, you could learn these loops and learn where the mud pits are, and you could take this pretty fast. And, uh, up your skills a bit. I'm just gonna cut left here and pretend I know where I'm going. Okay, here's the creek crossing. Ugh, no problem. That was Nesbitt Park. Uh, I think the locals call it Stanky Springs. Yeah. Although I can't figure out why it didn't smell bad when I was there. It's got a lot of really great trails and uh, they're all flat. You know, it has a couple of dips in the little creeks here and there. So you have the potential to get wet and there are a couple of mud spots that you have to be wary of because they're slippery. But overall, it's a great cross country park. It's got a couple little jumps way in the back that look like they're a lot of fun, but I don't do that sort of thing. <laughs> And uh, yeah, there's roots, there's few rocks here and there, not very many. And uh, you know, you can work on your speed and really uh, have a good time. So if you're local, I could see you being here all the time. And if you're in Memphis and you brought your bike, you should come out and ride it for a day. But uh, do it in the morning because it gets really hot in this town and really humid. So uh, it's pretty hard to cool off. That being said, great park, had a great time. And uh, yeah, if I'm ever back in town, I'm gonna come back. Thanks for coming along. I appreciate you uh, enjoying the ride with me and uh, I'll see you when I see you.